Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. How are we? What's going on? So I thought I would do my makeup and kind of just talk and say how I feel and just go through my emotions. Joking. Okay. So I didn't upload a video last week because I actually went back to work. Um, today's Monday. I didn't not. Friday gone, the Friday before, I went back to work. And when I tell you that was a shock to the system, I am not joking. I hadn't worked in four months and then literally went back and I was like, oh my God, I can't remember how to speak to people. I can't remember what it's like, you know, to work. And I honestly was like, I don't know how I'm gonna, I don't know how to use anything in work and whatever. But I went back and I'm so happy to be back. Um, for those of you who are curious, I work in the north of the country, in the north of Ireland. So that's why I am back working, in case you're like, what the hell? Um, so that's why I'm back. But yeah, it was so great to be back, but it really took it out of me. Like I was exhausted all week and just did not get a chance to film so there was not much of a point in me uploading my last video was quite um <laughs> sad i would say like it ended on such a sad note um and i kind of feel like the reason i was feeling like that and the reason i am feeling a little bit weird is because for those of you who don't know I spent five years in college studying musical theatre and I graduated in October of 2020 so 2020 or like the start of 2020 was like the my last year of college and we obviously did not get to finish it the way we wanted to. We were meant to do a show, we were meant to do a showcase, all this kind of stuff and none of it happened. It was just very disheartening. And then obviously graduating from college with a degree in something that like at this moment pretty much doesn't exist was like, oh, that's fun. Um, so that was a little bit disheartening. And I suppose throughout the year I've kind of lost my love for theatre and obviously that's because we're not in theatres and um, we can't go and see shows or whatever and that's been very hard so I'm kind of trying to just get my head back in the game for me the main thing that I'm like focusing on is dancing because I've been dancing since I was five five years old it's like the one thing my entire life that I've always been like the most confident with and the thing that like I've just never really questioned that I could do it and I suppose over the last few years I have really questioned myself with dancing or with anything I suppose with any like singing dancing and acting I have like begun to like be like oh I can't actually do that when people are like oh how's the dancing or how's the whatever and I'm like oh I can't do that anymore <laughs> and they're like what <laughs> what do you mean you can't <laughs> it's such a mental block and I have a mental block towards those things at the moment and that's I'm genuinely finding that hard because I've done it my whole life so yeah that's it that's a bit deep it is a bit deep but I feel like that is genuinely <laughs> the root <laughs> of me being sad or being disheartened or anything because I can't truly do what I love or I have a mental block towards what I genuinely love to do. Anyway, that's very deep, but that's just how I've been feeling. So in saying that, I'm trying to like get back into or rediscover why I first fell in love with dancing, mainly dancing because for me, dancing is like the one thing that I've 
Like I genuinely, I think I would die if I couldn't dance. <laughs> I honestly think I would. How is this makeup looking? Like if I could not dance, it would be the saddest thing ever. And you know, it just would not be fun. So trying to get back into dancing, really forcing myself to be like, let's dance, let's dance. And I'm fucking, I'm not here saying I'm Billy Elliot. Lord Jesus knows I'm not Billy Elliot. <laughs> But I just love to do it. I'm not saying that I'm good at it, but I love to do it. Whatever. Um, but yeah, that was just on my mind and I kind of had to get that out, to be honest. But you may also notice that my hair is straight. People who have curly hair are like, oh, why did you straighten your hair? That's like the worst thing you can do for curly hair. I know, I'm aware, but Sometimes I just want my hair to be straight and that's just how it is. So I'm talking utter shite, utter, utter shite right now. I don't even remember what I kind of said. What was he talking about there? <laughs> dancing? <laughs> yeah, the amount of people who have been saying to me recently, they were like, you need to dance again and you need to sing and do all that again. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a sign, it's a sign. But we'll see. We'll not get stressed about it yet. But yeah, I kind of just thought I would film. I had the urge to film. I haven't been using this camera enough. And I literally bought it to film things on, obviously. What am I talking about? Um, but I'm hopefully going to video or film today and tomorrow. And we'll see where it goes. Also, I got loads of new clothes and I feel like I need to show you all. This t-shirt is one of them. I got this from Pull and Bear. And I just think I might show you later all the clothes I got. Okay. That is me. Ready. Where I'm going, I'm probably not going anywhere. Let's be realistic. But at least I look good. You know... Woo! Oh, popularity. <laughs> Joking, it's my father. Cool, ready, let's go. Let's do this day. This is of the finished look. T-shirt, flare jeans, my Air Force Ones, which I wear every single day, so. Yay. Okay, so I thought I would show you some of the new clothes that I've got recently because I'm pretty excited about all of them. I did a massive order on Pull and Bear and I got some bits on there, so I'm gonna show you. So I got this t-shirt and I got these jeans, which you've already seen, this little necklace and these rings. I have worn some of the stuff, so whatever. These like flared leggings, I suppose. Also, a lot of the stuff that I got is green and this was not intentional. I don't know what that means, but a lot of green. This little cardigan. Yeah, I literally have seen these everywhere, but I just thought it was really cute. But this dress, can you deal with it? Next thing that I got was this little skirt. Now, I, I don't think I'm gonna keep this because it's just way too short. I tried it on and I was like, no. The next thing I got was these leggings. I'm pretty undecided about these because I've never had leggings like these before and in this color. This is a very unique color. Um, so I don't know what I'd wear on the top, but they're just like ribbed leggings. My cousin actually bought this but she didn't want it so she gave it to me which was very generous and um, again it's green. It is this little top. I just thought it'd be really nice for summer with the jeans or whatever. I'm acting as if like I know what I'm talking about with fashion. Haven't a notion. Haven't a notion but I'm trying. Plain little white t-shirt because you cannot ever go wrong with a little white t-shirt. But that's all I got from Pull and Bear. But I also got some bits from 11.11, which I'm going to show you right now. 
So I got this dress. Look how cute. This was actually on sale. It's 50% off. So an absolute bargain. And so cute was this pink shirt. Also, there's no labels on any of these things because I've worn them. So whatever. So I got this dress, which is beautiful. Um, I have some weddings coming up that hopefully I'll be able to go to. I just thought this was perfect. You could put a wee belt around it and a nice pair of heels and it would be perfect for a wedding. It's like a little cross, the boobies. You know, my mother did laugh when I tried this on, but I love it, so that's all that matters, was this oversized black blazer. I just love this. I know it's not to everybody's taste, but with like the flare jeans, but I love it and I think it's cool and I feel cool when I wear it. So, fashion. That's pretty much everything I bought. Some of the stuff is from Pull and Bear and some of it is from 1111, bang on trend. Yay. Me and John have to get out of the house, so we're going to Starbucks. But John doesn't want to see me vlogging, so he literally just jumped out of the car. It's a bit rude, if I'm honest. I'm very aware that this film, this film, this video is all over the place, but I'm home. Um, after me and Joe went to Starbucks, we went down to my cousin's. And we decided that tomorrow, because we all have the day off, we're gonna go to Belfast and do a little bit of shopping. So that's very excited. Very excited? That's very exciting. I'm going to carry this video on to tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm gonna film in Belfast because I've never, filmed in public so who knows it might not film anything but we're very excited to go to Belfast and have a bit of a day out This is my outfit. Please excuse my clothes in the background, but I have the denim jacket. whole video is just me sitting here um but we are home from Belfast I did not film a lot because I was way too self-conscious to be honest um but I did buy some stuff I definitely didn't need to buy anything because I have I literally did a haul in this video of all the new stuff I got but anyway I thought I would show you what I got so I went to Stradivarius, Urban Outfitters, Pull and Bear, Waterstones. 
I think that's everything. Okay, so let's start with the clothes. So I got this cute little blue, it's like a short shirt. I just thought that was so nice. Also, these clothes smell like the way that Hollister clothes or Abercrombie and Fitch clothes used to smell when you buy them. I'm kind of into it. I love that. Okay, the next thing I bought. Now, I actually didn't read this when I bought it, but I just really liked the colors. So please don't judge me when you see what this says, but this little t-shirt, which says, too red to be sad. Oh, anyway, <laughs> so that's what I got. I thought that was really cute. And I just love the colors of it. Um, and then, so I got these two in Stradivarius and then I got this in Stradivarius and um, it is this little these overalls which I thought were just Mom and Mia vibes personified they have a cute little pocket at the back and they're just really light I love them I have to still try all this on so who knows if I'll even like it when it's on but hopefully I will and then I got this in the men's section of Pull and Bear. It's just this like off-white t-shirt that says, no bad decisions, just great adventures, New York. How I wish I was in New York right now, but I'll just wear a t-shirt that says something about New York. The next thing I got was a mug because how could I ever resist getting a mug? Also, it matches my dress. So cute. <clears throat> Am I actually being a blogger right now? So cute. The last two things that I bought were books. So I got Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. I'm very excited about this. And then I got The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I got those in Waterstones. And I'm so excited. I need to stop buying books, I need to stop buying clothes, I need to stop buying mugs, but I cannot be stopped. So yeah, that's everything I got. We had a really good day. I'm actually exhausted. <laughs> I haven't been out like shopping in a really long time, but we had such a good time and the weather was beautiful in Belfast. And yeah, again, I'm sorry I didn't film that much, but it was just shops, you know, you know what it looks like, I don't know, but now I think I'm gonna make a cup of tea in my new mug and I might read a little bit, I haven't been reading that much recently and that's hurting me, especially since I've bought new books, like I need to read so that I can read all the books that I have, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for the evening. We get a little commotion for how cute this dress is. With my shoes. I just loved wearing it today. The summer vibes are out and this dress is the perfect dress for summer vibes. It's from Pull and Bear, by the way. And this little top's from Pull and Bear as well. So cute, 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 cute. I think I'm gonna end this video here. I have you sitting on the fireplace, but yeah, I'm not really doing anything else of importance to show you. So I thought I would end the video here, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will hopefully see you next week. But yeah.